Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? You look completely exhausted. Who... who are you? Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. Then... The riots. And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Uh, um. Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted. Or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. A, a full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Ah. But you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. What's going to happen to me? <sighs> huh? Oh, apologies. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. You honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people... ...is a common, boring person like yourself. So, that's why you pass. What? What are you talking about? Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. The, the hacking gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit... too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. I'll be going on ahead. What is this? This wristband is a custom-made device given to the targets of the game. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Boom? No! 
No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. If you throw me into that town, I, I just get killed immediately. I'm, that's no fun, right? That was only because I had this gun. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier, hmm? Advice from earlier? However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. Uh. Hey! No talking without the leader's permission! You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut! <laughs> that is quite a scary thought. Hey, you guys! Thanks for waiting. Here you go. Some nice, freshly made milkshakes. You're too late! Monica already left. My sincerest apologies. I didn't know how to make them. And of course, I couldn't look it up. Uh, is this how milkshakes are supposed to look? It's all murky. I'm not certain. I did make sure to add the sugar and the rendered fat. Rendered fat? Did you really intend to make your rulers the warriors of hope? Drink this swill? I think you'll be the one drinking the slimy thing instead. That's an order. Ah, oh, but how troubling. If I keep drinking it down, I'll feel it filling up my stomach. But if it's your order, Master, I live to serve. I am your servant, after all. <laughs> Hello! I apologize for being late again, everyone. Hey, hey, hey! Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! I was running an errand for our Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? Are you nuts? This is downright nuts! I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Not! Take this! Take this! Useless servants deserve to end up like this! <laughs> good, good! Go for it! Ah, this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Oh my! Seems like I made it just in time. Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. You! Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Komaru Naegi, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Huh? 
It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end, how it was meant to be. D don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the Warriors of Hope? Paradise or the game? What are you talking about? It's obviously... The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason you did not do exactly that and are instead going behind their backs is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay, I really think you should. D damn it! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. Huh? Uh... Now perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? S escort What are you talking about? Oh. I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. Talking about and it was such a good deal too why did it have to come to this that's a lie right you're lying right now aren't you you're just making it up if you believe it to be a lie think back on when you two first met When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items, why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Wh why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? 
He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories, slaying Goliath, the weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. saying if my assumptions are correct you will release a light even brighter than his and in order for that to happen i need you to participate in my game through the game you will grow defeat the final boss and become the hope for this town that's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through please save this town from despair Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair! Wh what do you mean? I'm... hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair, hope will always win in the end. That is why I feel no remorse becoming to spare myself. You... you're just as crazy as those kids! You must be insane! Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please, just... tell me the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Biakia, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie, right? Answer me, Toko! <laughs> Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie. What? All this time, I was protecting you and cheering you up, it was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko... That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Uh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toku. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Ah, Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Hope. <laughs> it 
Sounds disgusting when you say it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. Though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I should Idiot! Suppose. It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we both love Master. Uh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you, and let Dekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself, so I can kill you as I like. No remorse. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path, for the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin' not. How you calling my friend? You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape, Jeez! Well, guess it turned out so all right. Not funny. If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Though it does hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You saved the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. But it'll be all right. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. 
You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit... suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Ah, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider. As expected of his little sister, my judgment was indeed correct. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both, even if it takes my life. Do your best. Defeat despair. That's it. Just a little longer. Just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. From the very beginning! It's no use acting like you don't know! I heard it all! <clears throat> Confess! You were lying to us the whole time! <laughs> hey, you guys breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Like cookies, glassware, the window at that girl you like's house. More than plenty, damn it! Sh shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history! And this guy interfered! Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. I mean, what the hell's with you, Nagisa? What's up your ass? You know what, actually, don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to shut up? Ooh, oh. Ooh, so scary. And what are you going to do about me? This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's all your fault! Don't be mad, Nagisa. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. Huh? M monica What did you say? Ahem. Like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. Jeez, Monica! So vulgar as usual! Seriously? Greetings. I came to say my goodbyes. Ah, oh, going already? But this is where the fun starts. For real, though! 
the real deal starts now! It's like you finally get the girl of your dreams, so now you can start wearing her underwear whenever you want! <laughs> that example was pretty clever! Let's put that shit on a calendar! By the way, before I leave, there's something I should tell you. Oh, what? Is this it? You're finally gonna come out of the closet! I've received word from the Monokuma kids on watch. An intruder has entered Toa City. And they came alone. Alone? I see. Was this someone from Future Foundation? I don't know. But I recommend caution. Hey, hey! Look at that! Wow, the impact! Looks just like an action movie, Meow! <laughs> if this keeps up, all the children might end up getting killed! You're in quite a good mood, hmm? Huh? Despite the fact that your plan is about to be ruined. Ruined? You talking about ruined? Monica's plan is totally going smoothly! Totally! Smoothly. You call this smoothly. Sorry. I know you helped me out and everything, but this plan is a secret even to you. By any chance, is this plan related to the successor of Junko and Oshima? No! Zip zip your mouth! Well, it does not matter what you're planning. In the end, hope shall win the day. So to prove your little point about hope or whatevs, you brought on the despair, huh? Well, that's just fucking stupid. It's like going to the desert to drink some tasty water. It's totally contradictory, right? No, you misunderstand. In order to get rid of all the despair, you first must let it flourish. Wait until the despair has grown to its largest size, and then burn it. All the way to the roots. And after that, only hope will remain. That is the world I seek. There is nothing contradictory in that. Well, not that it even matters. So you're gonna burn the crops and salt the earth, huh? You really are amusing, Mr. Servant. Despite the fact that you know you've fallen into despair, you still fight for hope. Could it be from Big Sis Junko's influence? Or were you always like this? Who cares, Monica? Just let this jump exit stage left already! There's something way more fun and refreshing waiting for you! Yep, that's right! I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Just how will the world look through the eyes of the successor? Monica, you're so into it! Your heart resonates! Hot enough to burn! Thank you, Kurokuma, for giving Monica such a splendid plan. Uh, yeah, stop it. Your little hills... Ah! Up against my body! Mm. Uh, are you pushing those little buds on me? Uh, you doing this on purpose, Monica? Monica! Thank you for the hard work, Mr. Servant. I'm sure we will not see each other ever again. You're awake? You were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Because I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed, with endings that waver between despair and hope. 
I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured, after all. So you did it on purpose? But you aren't finished yet, right? Nothing has really changed since you began. So I need you to continue working hard. So that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you. So I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. I should be able to make you more like her than even she herself was. Gross.